to experimental cooking. Today, I'll be making spinach pumpkin lasagna, a recipe by Monique Vols on Ambitious Kitchen. The ingredients for this are lasagna noodles, olive oil, spinach, part skim ricotta, an egg, garlic powder, salt, black pepper, pumpkin puree, milk, cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, allspice, salt, and more black pepper, mozzarella cheese, parmesan cheese, and then it has parsley to garnish, but I didn't get any of those. All right, first step, preheat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Then I greased my baking pan. I wasn't exactly sure how big it was. It calls for a nine by 13 inch baking pan, but I went with what I could find in my pantry. I then brought a large pot of water to boil. And cooked the lasagna noodles for approximately five to six minutes. While they were cooking, I cooked the spinach. It needed way more spinach than what it was calling for. I'd suggest tripling, maybe even quadrupling the recipe for the spinach mix. After cooking the spinach, I put it in a bowl with the ricotta, egg, the garlic powder, the salt, and pepper. I mixed it up. And then in a different bowl, I made the pumpkin mixture. I only had one can of pumpkin puree as I had that one since fall, but nobody else was carrying any as it was out of season. I added the puree, the milk, the cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, allspice, salt, and the pepper and mixed it up. Once the sauces were done, I started layering everything. I wish I had more of each sauce, both the spinach and the pumpkin, but it's what I had. Once I was done repeating the layers, I added extra cheese on top. I covered it with foil and baked for 25 minutes. When that was done, I took it out, removed the foil, and put it back in for another 20 minutes. I wasn't sure what I was going to think about this, as one doesn't usually think pumpkin when they think of lasagna. But it turned out really good and was delicious. My husband and I loved it. It even tastes really good with sour cream. We couldn't get enough of it. If you have a recipe you'd like me to try, Comment it below, whether it's the recipe itself or the link to the recipe. Thanks everyone for watching. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe.